What's going on everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over cover prices top 10 list for the week of July 4th, 2022. I'm going to be breaking down and discussing their top 10 list. I'm going to be talking about all the books that made the list, some of their most recent sales, and whether or not I believe those books should be on the list. All this information is public knowledge. You can find it on their website, and I highly suggest checking out their website as well. They have a lot of very other valuable information that can help further your opinion on some of these books, and whether or not you believe that they should be worth the investment or not. And if you do enjoy the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button because it really does help out. And if you don't miss out on any of my upcoming content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell to get notified. Every time I drop new videos, you won't regret it. And now let's talk about this week's top 10 list. All right, everyone, so to kick this top 10 list off first, we've got coming in at number 10 this week. This is IDW's Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 50. This is the big 50th issue, which I definitely believe plays a role in this one. The cover I'm going to be talking about in particular is the 1 in 25 Hess Incentive. So the current trend with this issue is up 17.66%, so it has been selling a lot more as of late. The last recorded sale is valued at $129.99, and that was on July 3rd of 2022. The highest known sale happened, however, a couple months ago at $149.99, but the lowest known sale was $30, and that happened on June 28th of 2022. So even though the last recorded sale was at $129.99, just roughly not even an entire week ago, the lowest known sale happened at $30. I don't know if whether that was just a lower grade of the issue or what the deal was, but that is a big difference in sale prices. However, the total recorded sales for this one is just 27. Even though the trending sale percentage is up for this one, in my honest opinion, I think nostalgia plays a big factor in this. Whether you were a fan of the movies, you played the video games growing up, this is the big 50th issue for Sonic the Hedgehog. Cover A, cover B aren't selling for nearly as much. This is an awesome cover, and it's a 1 in 25 incentive cover. There aren't a ton of sales on it, so FOMO might be playing into this one a little bit. The series released, people really wanted this big 50th issue, they wanted that awesome cover, because even though we did just recently have a very high sale, about a week ago we had an extremely low one as well. Just my opinion though, let's talk about it more down below, but now let's move on to number 9. Next up this week, we've got coming in at number 9, this is Marvel's Iron Cat issue number 1, in particular the 1 in 50 scan incentive variant. So the current trend for this book is up 27.94%, so it has been selling a lot as of late. The last recorded sale for this one is valued at $99.99, and that happened on July 4th of 2022, which is also the highest known sale for it as well. But recently, on June 30th of 2022, it also had its lowest sale at $32. There's only a recorded amount of sales of $36 for this book. So the reason I believe this book made the top 10 list is because it does have a first appearance. It's not a first appearance of a brand new character, however, it does have Tamara Blake becoming Iron Cat the first time. If you look at the other covers, cover A and cover B aren't really selling for all that much. This is a scan 1 in 50 incentive cover, so in my opinion, people are looking at this saying, you know, it is an established character, however, it is the first time she becomes Iron Cat. They want the best possible book that they can get. The cover A's, cover B's, they were mass printed, but a 1 in 50, especially done by scan, that's something that's going to be a little bit more sought after. So in my opinion, I do believe that this book should be on the top 10 list. Next up this week, we've got coming in at number 8, this is Marvel's The Incredible Hulk, issue number 449. This is the first appearance of the Thunderbolts. While this is definitely a bigger book to have in your collection because of the first appearance, its current trend is downward at 13.23% for the week. The last recorded sale was valued at $95.99 on July 3rd, 2022, so it is absolutely down as of late, but the highest known sale happened on June 10th, 2022 at $230. The lowest known sale happened on April 14th, of 2022 at a low $35, but there are a ton of recorded sales for this one at $2,058. So while the book is on a downward trend, in my opinion, this is still definitely a good one to have in your collection. As I said before, it is the first appearance of the Thunderbolts. They are going to be working towards either a Thunderbolts movie or, I believe, a TV show. I know something is confirmed. I've been seeing a lot of reports that they were working on the cast as well. So maybe while it is on a downward trend, people are starting to forget about it a little bit more. If you give it a little bit more time, it's probably going to drop out of the top 10 list completely. So if you are a speculator, you are someone who wanted this in your collection, I would give it just a little bit more time and you can probably get one for a very nice price. Next up this week, we have coming in at number 7. This is Marvel's Black Panther issue number 3. The cover I'm going to be talking about specifically is cover A, and this is the first appearance of Tosin. 
This is another book that has been selling for a ton of money, but not as of late. The current trend is down 10.08%. The last recorded sale was valued at $50, and that was on July 4th of 2022. However, the highest known sale of this one happened in April 23rd, 2022, when FOMO was at an all-time high. It was at $115, but the lowest known sale happened pretty recently as well. At $12.50 on June 26th of 2022, there have been a ton of recorded sales for this one at $889. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think this Black Panther series is really bad right now, but I actually think Tosin is a fantastic investment, especially while the trend of it is on the downward slope. A lot of the big numbers, the big sales all came from the initial release of the book because people were FOMOing over it. They didn't want to miss out on the next big thing. People were making bold predictions saying that this could be the next Miles Morales. People missed out on Miles back in the day, and now look at some of those prices. They don't want this to be the exact same situation. Am I going to go as far as saying that, that this is going to be the next Miles Morales? Absolutely not. But in this series, they haven't hit on Tosin at all. You never know what Marvel is going to be doing with some of these characters. If this character even makes an appearance in the movie or some of the TV shows. If you guys watch the Disney Plus shows, any of the MCU movies, you can see the trend that they are starting to go towards a younger generation. They're starting to hit on not the young Avengers, but they are starting to potentially work towards that. So some of these new kid characters, you never know what they're going to be doing with it. So while it is down, definitely check it out. Next up this week, coming in at number 6, we've got Images, 8 Billion Genies, issue number 1. The cover in particular for this one is the 1 in 25 Brown Incentive. Not gonna lie guys, I absolutely love this series. The current trend on this one is up 5.56%. The last recorded sale happened on July 3rd of 2022 at $34.99. However, the highest known sale happened just the day before on July 2nd of 2022 at $36 even. The lowest known sale of this one happened at $5.50 on June 19th of 2022. And there are a total recorded sales number of 71. So folks, I'm actually not going to be talking about this cover in particular because 8 Billion Genies issue number one hits this list multiple times, so I'm going to talk about it all at once. So in the meantime, let's move on to the next one. Next up, folks, we've got coming in at number five. I told you guys this one makes an appearance multiple times. We've got 8 Billion Genies issue number one. However, this is the Bird City Comics exclusive that's limited to 500 copies. I absolutely love this cover. This actually might be one of my favorite covers for 8 Billion Genies. The current trend for this one is up 21.41%. The last recorded sale was on July 3rd of 2022 at $89. However, just the day before that, on July 2nd of 2022, the highest known sale was at $150. That is a ton of money. When just a couple weeks before that, on June 17th of 2022, the lowest known sale was $17.19. But there aren't a ton of recorded sales for this this one only sitting at 15. Like I said before everyone, I'm going to be talking about 8 Billion Genies all at once, but this truly is one of my favorite covers for this series. Bird City Comics absolutely killed it. I love the homage, and now let's move on to the next one. Next up this week, we've got coming in at number 4. This is Marvel's What If Miles Morales issue number 4. Miles Morales turns into Thor in this issue, and in particular, I'm going to be talking about cover A. At the time of release for this book, this one had a ton of controversy surrounding it, and the current trend is still slightly up, however. We're sitting at 1.90%. The last recorded sale is valued at $14.99, and that happened on July 4th of 2022. But the highest known sale on this one happened on June 26th of 2022 at $36.77. But just about a week and a half prior to that, we've got the lowest known sale at $2.39 on June 14th, 2022, but there are a ton of sales for this one. We're sitting at 214. So in my opinion, there's absolutely nothing special about this book. There's no first appearances. Honestly, it really wasn't that good of an issue either. If you want to consider Miles Morales turning into Thor as a first appearance, then I guess you can, but it is just a what if series. I believe it is still slightly trending and still on the list, mainly because there was a lot of controversy surrounding it at the time of the release. I think a lot of people were really banking on it getting pulled. People were probably hoping it would get pulled, and now they're sitting on a bunch of copies. People can't get their hands on it. Or if it did get pulled, people wanted to eventually read it, and now they can't have it either. So that's why it was selling for so much money at the time. There's not a ton of high sales, but in my opinion, that's why it made the list. Now we're down to the top three issues of the week. We just got done talking about Iron Cat earlier having the first appearance, and now we're going to be talking about Spectacular Spider-Man Annual issue number four, which is the real first appearance of Tamara Blake. The current trend on this book is up 11.04%. In my opinion, this one is only up mainly because of the first Iron Cat appearance that I got done talking about earlier in the list. 
People got that first appearance, and now they want the real first appearance of Tamara Blake. The last recorded sale is on July 3rd of 2022 at $32.95. However, the highest known sale for this one happened two days prior to that on July 1st of 2022 at $40 flat. The lowest known sale, you guys should have checked this one out back in the day on April 8th of 2022, sold for a low of $0.99. There's a total recorded sales for this one of $147. As I said earlier, everyone, I'm not going to be getting too in-depth with this one. This one is obviously on the list, and it's trending very high on the list, mainly because it is the first appearance of Tamara Blake. Iron Cat just came out, and that does have the first appearance of Tamara Blake becoming Iron Cat. So if they got that book, now they want the actual first appearance of her, too. Down to the final two, folks. We've got coming in at number two. This is Images 8 Billion Genies, issue number one. Again, however, this is the Cover B, Frizen, and Sealy variant. Folks, this book has been absolutely wild this week. However, this variant in particular, the current trend of it is down 11.13%. The last recorded sale is valued at $8.64 on July 4th of 2022, but the highest known sale happened on April 16th of 2022 at $19.99. The lowest known sale for this one happened fairly recently, though, on June 13th of 2022 at 77 cents. There's a total recorded sales of 108 for this variant. I just got done hyping up the Bird City Comics exclusive. I love that cover, but Jenny Frizen absolutely kills it on the artwork as well, but I'm not going to be talking about this issue just yet. Here we go, everyone. The number one selling book of the week. We've got Images, 8 Billion Genies, issue number one. However, now we're going to be talking about cover A. Everyone, the current trend for this book is up 0.67%, so it's not really up that much, but, I mean, we do have multiple copies of 8 Billion Genies making the list this week. The last recorded sale is valued at $19.99 on July 4th of 2022, but the highest known sale of this one is at $31, and that just happened a few days earlier at June 30th of 2022. The lowest known sale for this one is just a measly $0.77, and that happened on May 23rd of 2022, but this one does have a recorded sale number of $171. So I can finally talk about 8 Billion Genies. I absolutely love this series. I think it's phenomenal. Image absolutely killed it on this one. I believe it's only a 5 or 8 issue miniseries. And the reason it made this list, in my opinion, is because it just recently got optioned. When I've read that first issue, I thought to myself, this would make a phenomenal TV show or an incredible movie. And it did recently get picked up. But here's my opinion on this one. While it did make the list multiple times, multiple different covers, we've got an incentive, an exclusive cover B and now we're talking about cover A. I think if you are going to make an investment in this one, aim for the incentives, try to find a reasonable deal on it or get cover A. I always try to go for cover A because that's what I like the most when I do my collecting. But keep this in mind. It is an indie title. There are a ton of indies that always get optioned and nothing happens at all. So while I am hyping this up and I absolutely think you definitely need to be reading this series, Don't spend a ton of money on this one. We've seen it all the time with Noctera, Undiscovered Country, Philadelphia, and so many other indies get optioned, they get put on the shelf, and sometimes nothing ever happens because the company just wants to have the rights to do it if they want to. They just don't want someone else to have the rights. So take that for what it is. I'm talking about it. I love the series. You definitely need to check it out, but absolutely do your research before you start making investments in this book. So what do you guys think about this week's cover prices top 10 list of books? There's some really good books on there, but as always, before you start making some of these investments, do your own research. Go check out coverprice.com. They have a ton of valuable information at your disposal that you can use to crunch some of these numbers, check out some of the trends, and just do your own research before you start making some of these bigger purchases. And as always, check me out on the experience. All of their links are down below in the description. Every single Wednesday, 6 o'clock EST, I go live with the guys from Dynamite Dynamic Forces. We have incredible conversations. We sell books as well, but I'll tell you what, the conversations, we're going to be talking about this top 10 list a lot more on that too. So if you want a little bit more in-depth discussion, make sure you check us out. Like I said before, great conversation, great books. It's always a great time. And thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really does help out. And if you want to miss out on any of my upcoming content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell to get notified. Every time I drop new videos, you won't regret it. And I've got two more sitting off to the side here with more of my comic book content. Click on one of those and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.